I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and this is my buyer's guide and feature review for the new Yamaha CK88 and CK61 performance keyboards. Now normally when I do a keyboard presentation I need to do a lot of research, checking the owner's manuals, checking the specifications and everything. But with these particular keyboards, they're just so easy to use and so hands-on. If you want to get your hands on one of these and try it before you buy it, then please do come to one of Bonner's stores. We've got three locations, one on the south coast in Eastbourne, one in Rygate in Surrey, just near uh, Junction 8 of the M25 motorway, and another one in Milton Keynes near the M1 motorway. So just give us a call first to make sure that we've got the keyboard you want to see in your local store. But I would urge you to get your hands on one of these and just have a play because I couldn't believe for the price how well they play. Now. Um, it's very, very lightweight, so this is the 88 key one. Obviously the 61 key has got a non-weighted keyboard. Now I've actually made another video on the 61 just to show how it sounds and how it feels when you, when you play piano on it, so there's a link in the description to this video for that. Um, but for me the most important thing is how does the keyboard feel when you're playing piano? Now it's not just about what the keyboard is made of. Now this has got a, a plastic key bed and it needs to, to to keep the weight nice and light but it's the way that that keyboard interacts with the internal sound generator that's really, really important. And everybody who I've seen in our stores get their hands on this just love playing the piano on it. So let's just give you a little example of that. So I'm just gonna select the, uh, the first piano sound, which is the sound of the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand Piano. So it's just a really nice experience to, to play this keyboard. And I haven't had to get the owner's manual out. Everything is so hands-on. So um, if you want to change sound, just hit the piano button. You can scroll through all the various pianos and there's loads and loads of different sounds. I'm not going to play you through all the different sounds that are in here. There's plenty of videos online where you can get some great sound demos. I'm going to draw your attention to certain ones that I really like. So of course that's the piano sound that you may have heard towards the end of that piece that I brought in a pad sound in the back of the piano. So remember the CK88, CK61, a three part keyboard. So you can have up to three sounds layered together and you just use these handy little colored buttons here to switch on and off the, the various layers. So I had the Yamaha Grand Piano. I can just activate the second part. And each part has individual volume controls too, which is really handy. So like I said, it's three parts, so I can switch on the third part. And I've actually got this part assigned to 
the organ engine. So on the left hand side here you've got the nine drawbar controllers so you can craft your own organ sounds. Now it's not the same as having a, a Hammond um, but the organ sound is certainly competent in this keyboard and it's got a pretty good uh, Leslie simulator in it as well. So let's just bring the volume of the organ up. So in that example, I've got three sounds all layered together all at the same time. Then you can store that combination of sounds into one of these eight live set buttons on here. And you've got multiple banks of live sets, so you're not gonna run out of sounds. So if you need that particular setup to do a gig, just hit the store button, give it a name, store it into one of these eight live sets. So let's just have a listen to some of the other sounds that are in here. Um, as well as acoustic pianos, you've got electric pianos, so some really nice kind of Rhodes type sounds. So as well as keyboard sounds, there are also some really good synth sounds and brass sounds. And here's one of my favorites. This is brass section two. There's also a really nice Forzando brass as well. And this kind of, I, I love this because it kind of adds a bit more realism to your playing. So. So everything about the keyboard is hands-on. So starting on the left-hand side here, you've got your organ section. But if you look at the top, you've got physical transpose and octave shift keys. So there's no going through menus for the things that you might need to use on stage you know, all the time. As I've said already, you've got three sliders here to control the volumes of your separate parts. You can switch the parts on and off using these buttons. And in the center here, this is where you choose your sounds or your live sets, which are the settings that you've stored ready to, to play. So it's incredibly easy to create your own keyboard splits on the CK series. So if I select a sound, so I've got a bass sound here. Let's change that to something else. You'll notice there are just so many variations of sounds. So here we go. Let's go for something a bit jazzy. So this is an acoustic bass with a ride cymbal. So. So I think I'd like that with a piano on the right hand side. So I just press split, switch on my second sound and I've got piano here. Let's turn the volume up and bass on the left hand. So. Now, a little bit too much reverb on that for my liking, so again, just come over to the end here. There's a nice large control for the reverb, but again, there's a button next to it which says type, and you can just press that, go for all the different types of reverb as well. Just also on the far right here, you've got the equalizer section. That's great as well if you're playing live, especially with a band, I find this. Um, you've got a piano sound, you need to do a piano solo, sometimes, doesn't cut through enough at the top end. So just knock the high gain up a bit. If you really want your piano solos to, to stand out, push that up, maybe give it a little bit more mid as well. Then you can get yourself heard over the sound of the guitars and the drums and the bass and everything. So. It's just so, so simple to use. Um, you've also got, if I choose a, a pad sound now, so let's have a look, see what we've got here. So.
So I've got a typical kind of synth string pad sound there. You've got a filter here, so. You can completely change the character of, of that tone. And there, we're just dealing with one sound. Imagine what happens when you start layering sounds on top of each other as well. Um, so you've also got dedicated effects for each part. So you could have a wah on your, on your clav sound, but on your, um, on your organ, you could have the rotary speaker. So it's quite flexible with assigning effects. But I haven't looked at the owner's manual, which is brilliant. So everything is so, so easy to use. Um, now, there is a function on this which I think makes this a real killer keyboard for the money. And that is that you can um, get a USB stick. You'll see I've got one plugged in the back here. You can put a WAV file on it and you can trigger the WAV file using either the top or the bottom key of the keyboard. So I've got an example of that here. Now, it's really useful if you want to uh, play an intro for a particular song, or if there's a song that's got a really specific intro and it's got parts in it that you could never play on a keyboard or you haven't got the right sound, you can trigger um, a backing track using one of the keys. So um, there, you may know the song by Queen, One Vision. It's got this uh, kind of weird vocodery kind of spoken word, robot-y sound at the beginning of it. I've uh, managed to get hold of, a, of that, converted it to a WAV file, and I've assigned that to the bottom key of the keyboard. Now, on the rest of the keyboard, I've actually layered uh, three string parts together. So this is where you can really make use of those, those layers. So here I've got a lovely string sound. <laughs> I'm going to take that down an octave as well, so. And whilst I'm playing, I can trigger that bottom note and that gives me the, the backing track. So just here's a, here's just a, for a bit of fun, really just a little example of using the, uh, the audio track uh, just triggered from the key. So that's one way that you can use the, the audio track. Now, another thing you could do, and I found this uh, really nice, is that you can uh, assign uh, just a, a, single, a single hit, maybe a, a percussion sound or something to there. So what I've done is I've got the sound of a, a little cymbal roll. Um, and if you play that um, maybe mixed with piano and strings, you get some some lovely combinations of sounds. So let's just play a, a classic kind of Elton John piano intro. So. So there are really good creative ways that you could use the, uh, the audio to, to key assignment. So if we just take a look at the rear panel of the CK series, you've got your left and right outputs on quarter inch jack, and then next to that you've got audio inputs as well. So you've got stereo audio input, and this can be routed through 
uh, the effects processor, you can assign two separate effects to the audio input. So great if you want to put a mic on there with uh, perhaps some delay and some reverb together. Um, there's a noise gate and also um, there's separate EQ for the audio input. So really great for live performers if you just want to plug your mic into the keyboard and then just plug your keyboard straight into your amplification system. There are two foot pedal inputs which can be assigned to different functions. You've got MIDI in and out uh, on traditional five pin DIN sockets, which is still nice to have. You've got USB uh, to device and to host, so you can plug a USB stick in, as you saw I did earlier, so that you can play back audio files. But you can also store all your sounds as a backup onto the USB device too. Um, and then finally, and this is, I was so surprised about this, but it's actually got its own speakers built in as well. So. When you're on the road, it's great. You can just plug it in and, and play through your amplification system. But when you're at home and do a bit of practice, just use the internal speakers. They sound pretty good, to be honest with you, as well. So, sometimes the manufacturers put speakers in, just a bit of a token gesture, but actually, it's quite nice to play through its own internal speakers. And it's ever so convenient if you just need to get it out of your gig bag, do a quick bit of practice. Um, and while I talk about gig bags, Yamaha do make dedicated cases for both the CK88 and the 61. And you'll find these available on the, on the Bonners Music website. So I didn't want to waffle on too much really with this demo. It's just a really good hands-on keyboard, but I really suggest um, you come and try it for yourself in one of our stores because it's so nice to play. Um, and you can compare it with other models from different manufacturers just to make sure that you're making the right buying decisions. So if you've got any questions about keyboards, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. We also offer part exchange at Bonners too. So if you have an older instrument, you might want to upgrade to a CK series. Again, email us or give us a call and we'll give you an instant valuation. Um, that just leads me to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next keyboard demo video.